Hey everyone, welcome back or to my channel if this is your first time watching. My name's Ashley and in today's video I am going to be doing a nail polish project pan. So what you're currently looking at right now is my nail polish collection. If you had watched my previous nail polish project pan, I actually did it about a year ago and I had failed absolutely miserably. And you could probably tell because a lot of the polishes on this shelf are pretty much the same ones that I've had. The good news is that I haven't purchased any new polishes. The bad news is that I've hardly gotten rid of any polishes. So that's why I decided to start a new project pan. However, I am gonna be doing it a little bit differently this time around. I'm gonna be choosing about four to five polishes with the hopes of changing my polish um, on a weekly basis. And I will be checking in and providing my updates on a monthly basis, which is what I had done previously. But this time around, I do want to switch it up. And I got the idea from my friend and fellow YouTuber. And I will have a link to her channel down below. But I think I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently in the sense that I want to focus on one shadow per quarter to finish. I absolutely love that idea when she mentioned it in her nail polish project pan and it totally resonated with me. So it's something that I definitely want to try to implement in my project pan for 2022. Now, considering it is winter, I'm going to be choosing a lot of the dark colors. So I'm going to be going with colors mainly from this top row here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and choose about four to five polishes and we'll be back. Clearly, this bottle has been sitting for a while. Taking a closer look at the polishes I picked out, I ended up choosing six polishes. However, I could tell already that I'll only be going with five. So the first polish we have is this gold color right here. All of the polishes I chose for this project pan, ironically enough, are all OPI, and this is a very pretty gold color. This color is Roland in Cashmere. So it's this very pretty gold, so I can't wait to use this. I definitely think I'll get a lot of use out of this gold color. I absolutely love it. Next we have is this gray. And it's sort of like a matte gray and this color is Susie Takes the Wheel. Next we have this olive green and I can tell already that I'll likely not be using this. I did pull it because I thought I'd get a lot of wear out of it. However, upon closer look, it looks pretty dried out. I'm actually going to go ahead and open it live on camera so we can see if it's dried out or not. But just based on how it looks in the bottle, it looks pretty dried out. Like I'm sure you guys can see that as well. But before it was this nice olive green, which I figured would be great for the fall and winter. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And this color is, uh oh, and roll down the window. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this live on camera and see. It's really tight. Oh my God, wow. Oh my gosh, hold on. It's really tight. Okay, I think I got it. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Wow. Do you see that? Yeah, so this is, this is done. This is definitely, definitely done. Okay. Yep. Yeah, she's by trapped. Garbage. These are the last three shades for this month's project pan. And why did I choose two? red tones is beyond me but we're gonna go ahead and roll with it again i had to remind myself i'm just gonna stick with what i picked it's only for a month and we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it and the first one up is this deep sort of like red shade like a blood red it's really really deep and the color is lost on lombard up next we have another red tone 
but this one i don't know if it's picking you up well on camera but it's sort of like a glitter it definitely has a reflect in it i'm not too sure if that's the right terminology but um it's not like a matte or shine its color is guess what color i'm wearing and again it just looks like this Lastly, we have this blue shade, and it's this deep navy blue, which I love. Unforgettably blue. Side by side, these are the nail polishes that I will be going with for my 2022 nail polish project pan intro. This is the first round. I will be using these shades for an entire month and then after the month I am going to go ahead and switch them out and I will be providing monthly updates with the intention of using up one entire polish for every quarter. I'm really really hoping that this method works out so please wish me luck because I failed miserably in my 2021 nail polish project pen. If you want to take a look at those videos. I will have them linked down in the description box. But uh, yeah, so these are the colors that I'm choosing for month one. Um, let me know what you think. If you like any of these colors, if you have any of these colors, I would love to engage with you guys down below in the comments. So please do leave a comment down below. Deciding what color I wanna paint my nails next. Considering I am starting this project pen a little bit late, it's not the new year. It's actually February. I'm thinking of doing one of the reds because, you know, February is the month of love and it's Valentine's Day and all that good stuff. So I'm thinking of doing um, a red shade. I'm just debating on between either this red or this one. Um, so let's see what the difference is between the two. So I'm only going to paint one nail just to see which color I prefer. Um, so we'll see. I hope you guys can see that. I'm just going to paint like my pinky. First red is done right here, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. This is the first red, and this one is Lost on Lumber. Alright folks, so I actually struggled with trying to open this bottle of polish up. Um, it's clearly stuck, and as I was, po as I was trying to open it up, I realized that uh, my hand was going over these grooves. I'm not too sure if these grooves are gonna pick up well on camera, but these are teeth marks. And clearly this bottle is an issue to open because I've struggled before in the past, hence the teeth marks. Um, and I didn't feel like, you know, chowing down on this nail polish bottle tonight. So the color that I'm gonna be painting my nails with for this first week is gonna be this shade right here. This is Lost on Lombard, OPI. Again, this one right here. I will let you guys know uh, if I like this one. This one is, again, guess what color I'm wearing. Once I'm able to get the bottle open, we'll see. So first week is gonna be this shade. Yay. So that is it for my Nail Polish Project Pan 2022 intro. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you got value from it, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoyed it and it will push my channel out to further people who are part of the Project Pan community who like these kind of videos. So I would greatly appreciate it. If you are part of the Project Pan community and you wanna engage with me, please definitely leave a comment down below. I love to get a conversation going with you guys. If you wanna see more and get more updates from me, please subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell button so you guys can get notifications for whenever I upload or provide an update. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much it for all my call to action. Thank you so much again for watching my channel and please wish me luck on the 2022 nail polish project pen. I failed miserably in 2021. So I'm hoping 2022 is a lot better. But yeah, wish me luck. I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the rest of my nails and I will see you guys in the next update video. Bye for now.